In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 24, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. St. Louis Cardinals vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Arizona Diamondbacks play host to the St. Louis Cardinals on Monday night in a National League showdown from Chase Field. The Diamondbacks have struggled since the All-Star break, as they come into this one still in the thick of things but trying to find their first half magic. The Cardinals, on the other hand, have been playing better of late, but still need to find some consistency down the final stretch. With a playoff team playing host to a big-name club, there's no doubt that fans will be tuned in for this one. The Diamondbacks and the Cardinals are both looking to snap losing streaks on Monday night. St. Louis is having a hard time trying to keep pace in the standings with the rest of the division whereas Arizona is pushing for the top spot in their division by tracking down the Dodgers. Wainwright has had some poor performances for the Cardinals this season as the team is 1-6 this season when he starts. Arizona will more than likely utilize a bullpen game because they have not named a starter as of Sunday night. The Diamondbacks have pitched poorly this season, too. That means the offenses will be leading the charge. The Diamondbacks are hitting .283 against St. Louis this season and they have scored the eighth most runs. St. Louis is hitting .245 on the road. I'm not running to the window to back either of these teams coming off a rough week, but the Diamondbacks should get back on track sooner at home. Also, it's hard to get behind Adam Wainwright and his 7.66 earned run average and 1.99 WHIP. Wainwright is showing his age at 41 years old, and now he's going to pitch for the first time in three weeks due to a shoulder issue. I want nothing to do with the cards in this spot, so the Arizona Diamondbacks money line is our full game side pick. This one isn't likely to be a battle of pitchers, as Wainwright enters in one of his toughest stretches of the last few years. The righty has been in free fall of late, struggling to not only get deep into starts, but also find efficiency in those starts. The Diamondbacks may not have enough offense to win, but they'll have enough to score some runs of their own. Arizona continues to be without a pitcher, which will only continue to set them back, especially against a surging offense. Pitching will be struggling in this night game. Wainwright has an earned run average of 9.23 during night game and Arizona has the sixth worst team earned run average in baseball. Runs will be scored all game long as the over has hit three of Arizona's last four games. The over has hit four of St. Louis last five games. Fans should expect plenty of runs in this one. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. San Diego Padres The Pittsburgh Pirates face the San Diego Padres with both teams looking to improve on rough seasons. The Pirates have a 43-55 record and with only three wins in their last 10 games, they have fallen into last place in the National League Central Division. The Padres have a 48-52 record and are in fourth place in the National League West Division. The Padres will go with veteran ace U Darvish in the first game of this series Monday night. He was lights out two weeks ago against the Phillies, and he was dominant once again last weekend against the Toronto Blue Jays. The veteran right-hander generated 31 called or swinging strikes against Toronto among his 100 pitches as he delivered his second straight quality start and seventh of the season. Expect him to deliver another one in this contest against the Pirates. They have been reeling over the last month and a half, losing 10 of 13 and falling to last place in the National League Central. They've been horrible away from home, going 20 to 29. The Pirates just simply have not been good since almost the first month of the season when this team started the year 20 to 8 but since then it's been the word freefall epitomized the San Diego Padres have been disappointing based on expectations that are going to be there when your roster has the players that it does, but there's at least hope for the Padres in my eyes, and they're far and away the better team in this game with a massive edge in starting pitching. This feels like a spot for the Padres to tee off on the Pirates. This will be another big Padres win after they closed out their series in Detroit, so the San Diego Padres to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The aforementioned Pirates have been horrendous away from PNC Park lately, losing 15 of 19 on the road. Rich Hill will take the mound, and he has not been sharp. 
He has allowed at least three runs in each of his last seven starts and now holds a 6.53 earned run average in July after maintaining a 3.86 earned run average during June. He's also lost four of his last five decisions and comes into this tough road start against the Padres holding a 4.84 earned run average and 1.45 WHIP on the year, which looks better than it actually is. The total number has gone over in five of Pittsburgh's last six games. I do not expect Hill to contain a Padres lineup that has seemingly awakened after the All-Star break. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Los Angeles Dodgers The Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Dodgers meet Monday in MLB action from Dodger Stadium. The Blue Jays kicked off their West Coast swing with a matchup versus the Mariners over the weekend, losing the first pair. On Sunday, Toronto eked out a victory to prevent the sweep. As for Los Angeles, they finished off a lengthy road trip versus the Rangers this past weekend. The Dodgers scored a whopping 27 runs in the first pair during blowout wins. Then on Sunday, Los Angeles fell by four. The Dodgers boast a 23-20 run line record as home favorites, the second best record in those games. They sport a 46-36 RL record with no rest between games as well. The Blue Jays have a 24-28 run line record on the road, the fourth worst road RL record in MLB. They're also third 38 to 45 RL with no rest, the sixth worst record in those games this year. Toronto is going through it, losing consecutive series against West Coast foes. It needs to get back on track, but doing that against a very hot Los Angeles team will be challenging, to say the least. Los Angeles has won several straight series, including consecutive sets against division leaders Baltimore and Texas. It's slashing point 274 BA, 368 OBP, point 497 SLG, point 860 65 ops at the plate this month, scoring 6.8 runs per game. That's significantly better than it performed in June when it was just 12 to 12 overall. Berrios walked four batters in his last start and gave up seven hits in his previous outing. He's also prone to the long ball, as he surrendered five HRs in his last three starts of June. He'll have his work cut out against this potent Dodgers lineup. Grove might not be the easiest pitcher to back as a betting favorite, but he's held his own for the most part. The young righty has momentum on his side following consecutive wins over quality opponents and can be counted on for five ish innings on Monday. That said, this matchup is more about the offenses than the pitching. Grove is coming off a nice outing in Baltimore, and even though he gave up four earned in six innings versus the Angels on July 8th, he bagged another win to hit 2-0 in his last pair. Barrios should do pretty well here also. He's got just three earned over his last 18 Point one innings, but is just 0-1 to one in those three starts. On Sunday, the Dodgers offense shut down after the first inning and it was pretty rough all around in the early going. Still, the bullpen held together during the defeat. I like Los Angeles to regroup in this opener to recapture some momentum, so the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. The over is 56-36-5 to to in Los Angeles games this year, the highest over winning percentage in the sport. It's 24 to 18 to 1 in Los Angeles home games. It was betting favorites and 19 to 6 to 2 in its interleague games. The Blue Jays are slashing point 261, point 342. 0.417, this month, with 21 home runs in 16 games. They also hit 0 .260, 0 .328, 0 .424, 0 .752 versus right-handed pitchers and 0 .260, 0 .325, 0 .420, 0 .745 on the road this season, averaging 4.7 runs per game. I'm betting on another productive day at the plate for Toronto on Monday. The Dodgers hit 0 .250. 0 .341, 0 .469, 0 .810 at home, scoring 5.6 runs per game. They've launched 31 home runs and hit 30 doubles in 16 games this month and are coming off another successful series at the plate over the weekend. I don't expect any less than four runs from the home team, with five or six runs most likely. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.